Hi, welcome to today's solo playing tip. Now, for this one, Unique Monsters, and it kind of grew out of my regular technique of what we call three things. Now, three things is a really common um, improv theatre game where someone throws a suggestion at you um, and you have to come back with three unique things about them. So it say maybe there's a beggar on the street and you say, well, it's a you know, they're wearing a, a battered old military coat, they've got a crutch and um they've got an arm missing. And so yeah, that's three things. But now you can actually visualize that beggar. Um now you might be seeing a completely different military coat to me. You might be seeing, you know, that that crutch could be a a, a sturdy branch, it could be um you know, a one that's come from an actual medical place. You, you're still seeing something that's unique to you, but the you know, this three things, they're really, really quick to uh, think of, and they make you know, three things is enough think to detail to make most things kind of unique. Now, I'm not going to say you know, come up with three things for every goblin you're going to meet and every orc and every kobold, but Something like a an ogre, um, they're going to be around for a few rounds. They may even flee. You know, they may fail their morale and run. Give them something that so it's not just an ogre. You, know, you could you know give this um, this ogre a a nose ring. Maybe he stole it from a bull or something in a field. Or um, you know, he's got tattoos of um, of a dryad up, up one wall, uh, up one um, uh, bicep, and you th it makes you wonder where on earth did they see the dryad? And you know, can you imagine an ogre falling in love with a dryad or a bunch of ogres, um, you know, telling lewd stories about dryads? And anyway, this one got a tattoo of it, so I don't have a tattoo there, I just rubbed that just for um, illustrative purposes only, but that's not um, the thing is making these uh, monsters a little bit unique is another source of inspiration um for your game and if you're one of these people that wants to write up your games in kind of longhand by throwing in little details as you're playing when you come to writing up your journal you've given yourself more stimuli um to to work with and if you use uh, like game icons uh, as a um, uh, the visual oracle, or um, a, a, a muse, or a kind of word prompts, you can actually ask that for the unique thing, it, and it will give you some inspiration. So they're not having to come straight out of your imagination all the time. You can just kind of you know help yourself a little bit. Okay, so that's it. That's um, today's uh, solo playing tip.